Hi, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I'm here today to give you a walkthrough of the Saxon Math 8-7 curriculum. You know, because I know when you're looking at a new curriculum or you're starting just a new year, you know, figuring out which textbooks you need and what each one is for can be a little challenging. So I'm going to show you the textbooks, show you what's in them, and show you a little bit of how to use them. First thing I want to talk about is the name. Woo, this book is heavy, y'all. <laughs> I call this like the big book because 8-7 is the year that you do pre-algebra. So pre-algebra, as you can see, it's one of our thickest books, but it is all in here. This is, the, this is the year that your students want to go slow and steady because if they get this right, algebra should be pretty, I don't want to say a breeze, but it shouldn't be too difficult if they have their pre-algebra down. All right, so let's talk about the number. 8, 7, what does that mean? So look at the second number. The second number is the 7. It means on grade level for 7th grade. 8 means also 8th graders can use it, maybe who are maybe struggling a little bit or maybe that their curriculum, maybe at their school is using it at 8th grade. It's okay. 8th graders and 7th graders can use this book. One thing I like about that is 8th graders, when they look at this, they see themselves in it. They don't think, oh, I'm using the 7th grade book. They're like, no, I, it's a book for me. So I think that was a pretty smart little thing that they did. 8-7. Now, you need to know that this is the third edition of this textbook. It was written in 2005, and it's a soft cover, thankfully, because as I said, that's a pretty big book. <laughs> and we don't need any extra heavy textbooks to walk around with. So there's three major books that you need to have to make this curriculum work right. All right, so here we go. The big one, the student textbook, and you need the solutions manual, and the third one is the test and worksheets. Okay, I'm gonna take you through each of these books and let you know what you need to know. Let's do a deep dive on the student textbook. First thing you wanna know is that the student textbook is the main book. Doesn't matter if you're a student or a parent or a teacher, Everybody uses the same book. There isn't like a special facilitator's guide, which is kind of nice. You don't have to like fiddle between all of these different books, okay? Now, it's broken down into 120 lessons and 12 investigations. Investigations are like what I call like science labs, but for math, you know, it's where the students get to be a little bit more hands-on in their learning, okay? And when we look at those 120 lessons, each lesson is broken down into four sections. All right, let's go through these four sections and see what they're all about. The first section is called the warm-up. The warm-up has three parts to it. The first part is all about facts practice. This is where your students get to drill each day and get those math facts. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Get those facts in their heads. It's a timed activity, and they can find the worksheet for this in their test and worksheets book, and they can write directly on it. Okay, when they're done with the facts practice, they move on to the mental math. Takes a couple of minutes. And again, it's math that you can do in your head. There is a sheet to record this information in the test and worksheets book, and they can write directly onto that piece of paper. The third part is called the problem solving question. This question is more about like logic and you know, and how you would attack a certain problem and a little bit less on the computation. So this is the warm up. The whole thing takes generally about 10 minutes. The second portion is called the new concept. This is where the math material is for the lesson. Okay, so there's a couple ways you could go about this. The first way, hey, you could take the textbook, you could read it yourself, you could teach your student the lesson. The second way you can do it, you can give this textbook to your student and you can have your student teach themselves. Or the third way, which is my favorite, is you could watch me, Nicole the Math Lady. That's what I do. I teach every lesson in this textbook and I teach it as it is in the textbook. Generally, it takes about seven to 12 minutes to teach a lesson from this book. And again, this is like the serious stuff, the pre-algebra stuff that they are gonna need to move forward and be successful in algebra, okay? So, I love this part and I hear the students love it too. The third part of the lesson is called the lesson practice. Now that they've learned the new material, they have to practice it, right? Math isn't anything until you do it for yourself. So they'll find a couple of problems based on what they just learned to practice in the lesson practice. Now, there isn't any space on the page. It just lists the problems, so the students can't write in the book here. 
Here's where I say just keep a spiral notebook where you can put all of your answers, and that way if they ever need to refer back to something, it's all in their book, okay? Now, I have something optional here that I offer on the Nicole the Math Lady platform for students, and it's an extra video. See, some students are just ready to jump right into this lesson practice. Other students, they need a little bit more hand-holding before they can do it on their own. So my optional video is where I'll give the student a problem and I'll say, try it for yourself. And then when they come back after hitting pause, they see me doing a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the problem. That way they can see that if they went off anywhere, they can find exactly where they went off and they can correct it immediately. The reason this is important is because it doesn't have a chance to get stuck in their head in the incorrect way. So they get to fix it right away and it goes in straight, which I love. Some students do the optional video, some students do not. Some students even use this video as summer practice because they just need extra practice problems. The final part of the lesson is called the mixed practice. This is what Saxon Math is known for. There's 30 practice problems that are of a spiral review. What does that mean? Spiral review means some of the problems will be from today's lesson. Some will be from yesterday's lesson. Some will be from last week's lesson, meaning we're constantly spiraling back to prior topics to make sure it's still fresh in the student's mind. I love this because they just don't have a chance to forget it because they're practicing it so often, which you really do need in math. It's unlike any other subject where you're constantly going to be touching on the topics that you learned. Okay, so now there's something important that we need to know. Each of these problems, underneath the number, there's another number in parentheses. That number in parentheses tells us which lesson this practice problem came from. So if your student has any questions or problems or they can't do the problem, you could always turn back to that lesson and find out exactly where it came from, reread the lesson, or watch my video to see how it's done again. All right, now here's my chance to tell you about online grading. You have to try online grading. This is on the Nicole the Math Lady platform. We allow students to enter their answers to all of these practice sets, and we instantly, automatically grade it. We tell them if it's right or wrong. If it's right, hey, I do a little dance, we celebrate. <laughs> if it's incorrect, we give them a chance to fix it, to retry the problem. And remember that number in parentheses that I told you about? We have that there as a link. So if the students click on it, up opens a pop-up window with the video so they can re-watch the video if they desire and try to fix their problem. Which really, isn't that the whole point of math, is if we make a mistake, we want them to be able to troubleshoot, we want them to be able to fix it. Okay, I love that part about it. <laughs> so, automatic grading, you definitely need to try that one. Okay? You might be wondering, well, how do I know how my student did if it's being you know, done in the computer? Well, you get an email report that shows you exactly how they performed. Did they get it right on the first try? Did it take them three tries? Did they never get it right? So you, as a parent, you can actually focus your time. Instead of spending your time grading all of the practice sets, you can look at the report, spend your time helping them to correct the problems that they had challenges with. And that's a really great use of your time. So they get immediate feedback and you get to save time few other things in the student textbook I want to talk about. So remember those investigations? Well, they happen every 10 lessons. That's where you'll find them. And again, they're a little bit more hands-on lessons uh, that just show students, you know, more interactively some math concepts in the book. A few other things are we have a cool glossary in the back of the book. In the front of the book, you'll find a list of materials that will be needed for this textbook. Um, you'll also see something about the Saxon math philosophy, definitely worth a read, and also a letter from the author, Mr. Stephen Hakey, who I've had the chance to speak with and actually interview on one of my uh, blogs. And great talking to him. Um, if you have a chance to go visit my website and see a little bit about that interview where he talks about the history of Saxon math. Let's talk about this other book here. Remember the solutions manual. It's exactly what it says. It is a solutions manual. It shows you the solution. So it does a step-by-step -step walkthrough so you can see the math that's involved in the answers. In the case that your student gets something incorrect, which I can't imagine ever happening at all during the year. Finally, the test and worksheets book. So there are tests in here. About every five lessons you have a test. 
There's a schedule for when you're supposed to administer those tests at the front of the test section. And if you're in the Nicole the Math Lady platform, we actually have the test uh, already marked for you in the system, so you don't have to worry about what the schedule is. And then also it says worksheets. So remember those math fact worksheets are in here, the mental math worksheets are in here. Occasionally the investigations has some extra sheets, activity sheets, you'll find those in here as well. Okay, that's it. Three major textbooks that you'll need for the Saxon Math 8-7 curriculum. Now, as I said, if there's one thing I can say about this curriculum is that this is the big turning point for many of our students before they get to algebra. If they can take their time and get through this textbook, knowing the concepts, they're going to be well prepared to do well in algebra. All right, that's all I have for you today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I hope I've made it simple for you. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.